Hospital Port has pride and dignity. Stop the New World Order. Welcome to Hapanwo TV. Now, I've spoken many times before about symbolism, Illuminati, Masonic imagery in architecture, in art. No more so than in this city that I'm in right now, Oxford. Just give you a quick 360. This is more than Street Oxford, and the reason I'm here is because I came across this. I just, there's a lot of reflection on the grass. I'm not sure you can see it. I'll come over here a little bit. There we are. Now, it's very, very strange. These, these uh, embedded square images there with an eye in the middle with nice long eyelashes. Now, um, this is Morden Street in Oxford, and the reason why this came to my attention because the, I think the, this actually is Illuminati symbolism. It's actually the same as this image here, which is the one you're probably more familiar with. As you see here, we have a pyramid with a capstone there. This is a symbol that's on the dollar bill. Within the capstone there is the all-seeing eye of Horus and the 13 steps of the pyramid, supposedly designed to represent the 13 states of the Union when the Great Seal was invented, but in 1780, I think, I believe. Uh, but um, could easily represent... So it's 30... Yeah, 13, or it could easily just represent the the, the degrees of the uh, York Rite of Freemasonry. Is it? Yeah, it's 13, I believe. Yeah. And underneath, of course, you have Novus Ordo Seclorum, New Order of the World. Yeah, I did. This symbol is exactly the same, except it's seen. It's it's an adaptation of this. It's actually the pyramid shape seen from above. This is what a pyramid would look like from above. It would look like a square with these embedded things. There's almost like invisible lines there between the top and the bottom. And of course, you have the eye exactly where it appears on this symbol here. This is at Debenhams. I'm not sure I have to look into this, because this, this is Debenhams. And you see, look, there's another one in there. It's not Mac in Extreme Dimension Lash. Can you see that? It's obviously some kind of makeup sim, some some kind of makeup firm, obviously. But the what's strange thing about it is, it is its location as well. I mean, it's apart from the fact that it is obviously Illuminati symbolism, and here in Oxford, of course, um, I think uh, there's more Illuminati symbols, symbolism, or as much Illuminati symbolism in Oxford as in anywhere in the world. Where I am at Warden Street, as you can see, this is a very very special. This is a very very interesting place because. Um, this all-seeing eye in the windows of Debenhams at Morland Street, Oxford, has the most amazing view. In fact, it has probably, in terms of the actual importance and the architecture of Oxford, it has the best, the best view in town. In that direction, that's Broad Street. And I'll show you in a minute the uh, Martyr's Cross, but that's what's known as the heart of Oxford. You go along there, you see that that building over there, that's this bus is in the way, the way so the bus gets out of the way. So we've got a bit of a contrast problem because the sun's quite low. I'm in the shade, but that's all lit. Um, that there's the Bodleian Library. You go around behind there, you get the Bridge of Size and the Sheldonian Theatre, where um, this is, a, this is the main, one of the major venues in Oxford. In this direction is Corn Market Street, and you can see there the dome, the f just in the distance there. I shall just zoom in on the Bodleian for you first. There's the Bodleian Library, which is one of the world's biggest libraries. It has a huge underground um, chamber that goes right under the road and comes up the other side. The library's on both sides of the road, and it has a massive underground basement that goes under the road. Millions of books in there. One of the world's biggest libraries. As you see, if I come over here, to get a better view, you will see before you the... Oh, well, there's... There, hold on. Excuse me one moment. Sorry about the shaking. Um, that there is the phallic tower of Christchurch. And actually, it's very, very phallic indeed. It doesn't have two little small towers at the side that look like testicles. Um, it's very, very... That there is the oldest 
one of the oldest buildings in Oxford, the Saxon Tower. It's much older than all these other buildings around it. In this direction, you can't actually see because that bus is in the way. Let me see if I can get over the road, get you, give you a better view. There, right. I just walk up here a little while. This is more than street here. There's this old cemetery here with this ancient church. Debenhams, you see, is a big shop, big store. That, all that is Debenhams. It's a big sort of like department store here in Oxford. Now you can't actually, you can just see there in the distance. But damn these buses, they keep getting in the shot. Um, that there is the War Memorial. If you can see it. I don't think you can, no, it's not actually visible, it's too many trees. Uh, that there was the War Memorial in Oxford, which of course is a symbol of human sacrifice. The uh, sacrifice of millions of young men in engineered conflict to uh, bombs, guns and poison gas. Which of course the Illuminati absolutely love. And they, that's why they do it at the highest level. And on the subject of sacrifice, I've showed you this before actually, what I'm, what I'm going to show you now, I've, I've, show, I've showed you before, I think in a previous video. Yeah, because you can't see it, but the Martyrs Memorial is behind this church. I'm not going to go around and show it you, but I've, I'll put a link in the description box to the video about the Martyrs Memorial, which I did. <coughs> but I will show you the Martyrs Cross again and tell you the story. We've moved a little way now from the all-seeing eye at Debenhams. The, you see the pyramid with the eye and the capstone? And we're going to move a little bit. Just get out of the way of that coach. Ooh. All right. If you walk, you walk up this street, which is semi-pedestrianised now. There's the Sheldonian Theatre. You see there's another phallic symbol on top of the Sheldonian. Bloody willies everywhere. Honestly, these Illuminati, they must, these Illuminati must be very, very inadequate men, I must say. They've got these huge penises on top of all their buildings, obviously compensating for something. There's the Martyr's Cross, which of course is, which I've explained in the other video, is a location um, where in, what year was it? 1580, I think, 1580 something. Um, three men were burnt at the stake on that spot. And in those days, this was a wall. This was the, this was the wall of the city, and it was just outside the, wall, the big walls around the city. Um, Bishops Cranmer, Latimer, and Ridley, who were, who were um, from bishops um, ordinated by Henry VIII um, in the Church of England which Henry, of course, founded with himself as the head. And of course, his daughter, Mary, when she became queen, she carried out the anti-reformation and tried to bring back the rule of the Catholic Church to this country. And those three men refused to go along with her, so she burnt them. <laughs> oh dear, you can't, you can't. I think it's a, it must've been a bit of a confusing time because Henry used to burn Catholics and, uh, Queen Mary burnt Protestants. Um, a bit kind of, I don't know what they're trying to say. It's a kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. Almost anyone could get burnt, depending on the mood of the monarch at the time. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. We're coming up to the heart of Oxford now. This is, of course, where that all-seeing eye, you can all still see it, actually. It shows you what a good view that all-seeing eye has. See it there? That cool C and I, that symbol, which is basically the same as this one, an adaptation of this symbol. That's a very good view. Of course, it could be a coincidence or accident that the symbol happens to resemble the Illuminati pyramid. It could be a coincidence that it happens to be at that spot, which is such a crucial spot for any symbolic all-seeing eye to be able to look at some of the major 
um, symbolism and architecture and areas in Oxford, almost just like, like it's watching over. It's like it's watching over Oxford. What they try and tell us? Well, that's, that's the Sheldonian Theatre. They can just see it over the top of the building. You get a better view now. I don't know who these fit heads are, but that one there looks just like one of the porters, I'll tell you, Fernando, who's... <laughs> that's, that's the Sheldonian. Interesting, a few... A couple of months ago, Professor Brian Cox did a lecture there. Um, and I've told you before, I, I think Professor Brian Cox is someone we need to watch. Now, Heidi... Heidi will tell you more about this, you know, and Thrapleton Holmes B, who, your friend of mine, Heidi King. Uh, but I think he's someone we need to watch because I think that man is going to play a very, very important role in years to come regarding um, propaganda in the media. I think he's going to be the sort of successor of the Chris French and Susan Blackmore type media character, the, ske the resident sceptic or renter sceptic, which is uh, Blackmore's own words. Hmm. We're, at this, we're at the Bodleian Library now. It's the Bodleian Library. As I said, that's... That's the library as well, on that side of the road, and on this side of the road. And right under our feet now is a massive basement containing millions of books. One of the largest libraries on Earth. It's, uh... I spoke to someone who worked there once, actually, and he said there are vaults in there which he can't get into, which are sealed, and inside there are books. He had a glimpse inside one of them once when the doors opened. There are books in there which are sealed behind these vaults, almost like banks. And no one knows what those books are. They're not on the light. They're not run registered, but they're stored at the Bodleian. I'll tell you what. I'd give a substantial amount to go into that vault and see what's in those books. I really would. Do you think there's the ancient texts that have been suppressed, stolen from the Americas or from uh, ancient Egypt and places like that? Could well be pre-Illuminati knowledge about the occult. And the, the, the view of the all-seeing eye at Debenhams continues as we go round here. We're at the end of Broad Street now. And this is the heart of Oxford, as it's often called. This, you often get this on all the postcards. This is where you often see Inspector Morse film, and there's the Broad Street symbol there. This is Cat Street. And I'm going to walk down here towards Queen's Lane. There's Radcliffe Square through there. Oh, did you, my video, the sexiest place in Oxford. Do you remember that? Where I showed you the, the dome of the Radcliffe camera and St Mary's Tower. Damn lorry. Getting... They've got no respect for my film studio, these lorries. That there is the sexiest place in Oxford. There is the, uh, the phallic symbol of St Mary's Tower. The female sexual symbol you can just see of the Radcliffe camera. I've, I filmed that movie from the other side of there, from the other side of Radcliffe Square, and this is the Bridge of Sighs, modelled on somewhere in Venice. And I was walking along here a couple of years ago now, but I did film it, and there was these wooden boards put up along this wall, and Sorry. Shut up! Put up along this wall, and there was these strange symbols on it that resembled the Rongo Rongo script of Easter Island. And I don't know what they're trying to tell us. Hmm. There's another view of the Sheldonian. And I think that concludes my tour of the heart of Oxford. The heart of Oxford under the watchful eye of Horus, symbol of the Illuminati, seen from above in the windows of Debenhams. This here is St. Helen's Passage, and down this road is the famous Turf Tavern, which is the oldest pub in Oxford, actually. It dates back, I think, about 800 years. And um, it's, the, it's certainly the oldest pub that's still open, and actually, come to think of it, I think I'll nip in there and I'll have a pint. So, cheers, everyone. Hospital Porters, pride and dignity, stop the New World Order.